Hey everyone, it's your host Moo, and I'm here with two good friends, Swan and Tinsley, and we've got an episode of Hideaway Treasure Hunt for you today. Uh, we've actually got two boxes of Modern Horizons 2 that we're going to crack uh, and see what kind of goodies we get. So, Swan, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. Let's get started and see what kind of treasures we can get today. What do you say? Sounds great to me. All right, here we go. Mm, crisp feeling of opening up a box. But it didn't take too long, you know? That's true. He could have loved it. He could have. All right. What kind of goodies do you think we might pull? Mm. Hopefully a Cabal Coffers. That would be a nice pull. Pull me a Ragavan. Please, sir. I mean, honestly, I'll take any fetch. All right, first pack. By the way, we're gonna skip through the commons and uncommons unless there's just a banger, because nobody cares about those, so. No art. General Ferocious. No bangers? Nothing crazy. So far. That white card, that white rare is pretty good for enchantments. Sergeant Belief. Hey, hey that's grief. grief. That's pretty cool. Best thing we opened so far. <laughs> that's a really good Merfolk. Mm. Still no bangers. Hey, they all can't be winners. But they can all be losers. That is true. The dog hand's not bad. You can, you can tap a Tron land with it. We did get a full land. Ooh! Hey, our first winner winner. We take that. The time shifted Misty. That's a great pull. Not upset. Search the premises. I just want to say I love the art on those. Is it a foil I, sketch? That is a foil sketch. That's pretty cool. Magus of the Bridge. Mmm. Not a bad pull. Not bad. The pack was okay. Yeah. That Misty's what, like three bucks at most, you well, know? Probably two and a half. Mmm. <laughs> That's the flame walker. Wow, there's only one common in this pack. I'm really hoping it's going to skyrocket from here. You just changed it. You did. There's a saga. There's a saga. We take those. Hunting pack. I think I mixed my piles up Your here. piles are wild. That's, right? a, that's okay. They are. That's okay. They are. The, the important is on the far left over there. That's right. Yeah. The rest of it doesn't matter. I like the squirrel art, by the way, on the packs. Was it only squirrel art? I didn't even notice. Yeah, they are. it looks like they're all squirrels. No idea what that art card is. It's probably a bridge. Our mm. first mythic. Ooh, baby. That's a good card. Put it in important pile. That's probably an important card. Could be important. We'll keep it in the rare pile for now. You just insulted that mythic. Nah, that's what I'm saying. That poor mythic dude. It didn't do anything to spawn. That was a rough pack though. Ooh. No idea what that card is. I don't either, but that's okay. Ooh! Nice! That's a, card. That's a good pull. That, go, that goes... Uh, reorder here. Now, now he wants to fix his piles. Spoil. Commons. Mythics. And then you got fetches over on the end. Is that what you're going for here? Yep. Gotcha. We'll see if that stays true throughout. Oh, agreed. Not high dollar, but I like that card. It is a very good sword for commander. Still a big fan of that sword. Yeah, sword was a good pull. Ooh, Dark hey. Brooks. Hey, Old Brooks art card. That's pretty cool. Persist. That's a pretty good pull. And oh. Braith, Cabal Minion. Not bad. Too bad it's Bandit Commander. 
Ooh. A full diamond lion. That's not bad. You going to discard your hand to add three mana for anything? I mean, lion by diamond does the same thing. Hey, our first sign. Our... That is the uh, channeler. That one mana red spell. Red creature. Mm. Ooh. There seems to be a lot of those printed, by the way. Like, everybody at the pre-release last night had one. I am looking for this for the old frog monster get rock himself. Then that's not a bad pull for you. That is a good pull for me. You don't mess up your piles again. You're, you're just... You're, you're out, out of whack. <laughs> get lost in the I already, already forgot what piles we have going on, so... Ooh, that's that's the best art card, honestly. That is a great art card. Mm. A double rare. We'll take those. How much is that sword going for right now? I'm sure I haven't really kept up with uh, many prices. But I'm trying to keep a price check going on all of these things. Another the, double rare. The taxidermy Triple card. Rare. We like to see those. Yeah, the taxidermy flavor wise is. So yeah, cool. that's flavor wise best card in the set, I think. The sword on TCG is twenty four eighty five. Not bad. Factor fiction. How did you know that was a list card? That card's been printed so much that that's kind of a disappointing list card, though, to be honest. It could be worse. It could be worse, yeah. Ooh. Another living weapon artifact that was printed in the set. That was an ant pack. It's okay, you know? Like, they can't all be winners. That's true. Yeah, but they can all be losers. They don't always have to have a sword or a, a fetch land. No, but we want them all to have fetch lands. Big you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to that. Hey, there's your new zombie, by the way. No. Oh, the master baby. of death, ETBs surveil too. Yeah, I'm not upset about that. But three mana, one one, just to surveil. What's the upkeep do? Uh, is if in your grave you already pay one life. Oh, not bad. It's also a three one. one, one. Oh, sorry, I missed that. I was looking over his hands. I was like, dang, that'd be a real bad card. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that not, that's not great if it's uh, a 1-1, one, one, but 3-1's not bad. That's Dakin, right? That art card? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Ooh. Grisk. Which, they did come out and say, uh, that could be your commander. Coco also hits that. Since it's a creature when it's not on the battlefield, and it's 3 mana, Coco can hit that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very, actually. That's a card I need for my uh, enchantment deck I'm making. Yeah, dude, I think the, what are they called, sketch cards? Mm -hmm. I think those are my favorite uh, of this set. They're so cool. But they they are pretty cool. But they should have done made sketch fetches. I think some of them are bad and some of them are good. Because some of them don't have color at all. Yeah, that's true. Do, which is strange. Another Magus of the Bridge. Hey, Mock Salvage. That's a good card. I run that in my uh, uh, Anjay Falcon Wrath deck. Man, that was a tease. A full dual land, but it wasn't a fetch. That would have been a pretty good pull if it was a full fetch. Hopefully you pull a uh, foil etched fetch land. Those things are pretty... And a fractured sanity. Not bad. And a list. Good old dominaria, huh? No idea what that is. That's the uh, white converge spell that Swan likes. Hey, shout out to Prophet. We got some more ooze. That's true. Prophet be happy. Hey, Goblin Bombardment. Oh, there's the card that that art was for. Abundant oh, Harvest. Harvest yeah. Duh.
Was there any like banger commons or uncommons? Another misty? A misty rainforest. Shoo. Hey, that was um, wasn't this the bidding of big reprint that everybody was excited about? I'm pretty sure that's a reprint that everybody was pretty hype about. Probably. So two misty so far. <laughs> Could be worse. Out of time. You think we're out of time? Maybe. Oof, another duel. Foil, but not a fetch. Primal Vigor? What's a list card? Primal Vigor. You're getting, you're getting teased on the four duels, you know. That's okay. Maybe we'll hit one. Sure. That new Boros Commander from um, C21 is going to like those lands. Absolutely. Or at least the one. That is such a good modern card. Pro black and red. It also exiles black and red cards from graveyards. So that's, it like that's, hates dredge. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I don't think they came any out with anything really for Golgari Elves this set, did they? That I remember off the top of my head. Ooh. Oh. Chitterfang. We do like to see those. Ooh. Terminal Agony. And Step. a foil. Step three. Yeah. Hey, uh, hideaway land. Huh. On flavor. It's his flavor. But no, I don't think anything actually came out of those. It's only slightly disappointing. Ooh. Hey, uh, try to pronounce that card for me if you want. Uh Mora Gagara. Sounds that's pretty on par. What do you think? Sure. You know, that's one. hey, now that is a great pull. Really, uh, really, really liking the flavor of this card. Living weapon. Mm, double a mythic. double mythic. That's a great pack. That was a pretty good pack. That's, hey, now and, that's a treasure hunt if I've ever seen and, it. Dude, I think the time shifted squirrel uh, art right there, much better. You know the time shifted treasure? Wait, is that the one with the storm? Yeah. Oh, baby. I should add green to my storm deck just to kill people with a bunch of squirrels. I believe that's the mythic merfolk. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Counter spell. That's such a good enchantment commander right there. That is. It's so good. Every time you play one, you draw a card and gain a life. Because That's value. There's another card that got reprinted in this set. It's a... Uh, hey, a sketch ravenous squirrel etch foil. Nice. That card pairs really well with containment. Uh, I think it's containment field. It's a three mana uh, enchantment they got printed in this set. Where you don't draw a card, but you also have shroud. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. All right, come on. This point. It's okay. <laughs> they can't all be winners. That's a really cool art. Mm -hmm. The rice side reminds me of like a Dark Souls esque thing. Uh, yeah. Oh. Off topic, did you see they're coming out with a game kind of like Dark Souls? It was announced. Same creators? Yep. Mm -hmm. Same writer, too. Ooh. Ooh. Ignoble High Arc. That's a great card. Ooh, Curse the totem. Cursed Totem reprint. Nice. That is a great card as well. That's a rough pack. Cursed Totem just shuts off Ignoble High Arc. But we got the Sketch Phantasmal Dread Maul. Oh, wait, hey, hold up. The hold Commander up. Oh. Classic. We're back. Wayfarer's Bobble. But hold on, you gotta show off that that Dreadmall right there, dude. Yes. O yeah. Op. Yeah. Dreadmall never dies. Unless it's targeted, then it dies. Yeah. 
that's that's the beside the point. <laughs> From a lore standpoint, he never dies. Exactly. <laughs> Moderation. Oh, soul talisman. I see it. And agree. Hey, another agree. How do y'all feel about soul talisman and commander? I mean, I think it's good in certain decks, like the new Boros Artifact Commander. Um, but, I mean, I don't think it's a powerhouse by any means. I'm not going to run it over just Soul Ring. But if, if running Soul Ring is not your thing and you run lower power games, then maybe you run it, you know? Maybe you have it in your open hand. Ooh! Profane, profane tutor. tutor. Nice. But maybe you have it in your open hand and you don't want to ramp right off the bat. Now, how do we feel about Soul Snare? Because I feel like it's a... Uh... Pretty good enchantment. I'm pretty sure that's in um, the uh, the precon. Yeah, the Orzhov precon. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Uh, it's a good card for commander. That profane tutor pool though, that's nice. It is a great pool. I'm not upset. About I love that. the art on it too. Hey, this is the artifact. That's all I ever call it. The yeah. artifact. The artifact. Yeah. AKA Cauldre Complete. Y'all know the name. Timeless Dragon. Not terrible. Ooh. Foil out of time. Out of time. Arcane Teachings. Alright, we're down to the last three. Do you think any treasures may be hiding amongst them? I think we've not done bad so far. You'll probably get one more fetch, if I had to guess. I got three in my box. Harmonic Prodigy. I believe uh, this will be great for uh, the Power of Stacks in Modern. Surprisingly, there's not many Wizards or Shamans. We will take another Triple Rare. Yeah, and you got the, the Mono Scaling. Looking for that time shifted burnt catacombs for Git Rock? I uh, maybe. Ooh, Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats. We do like those. Alright, last pack. Can we get another sign? We cannot. We do get another mythic. Endurance. And a scalding Ooh, tarn. Nice. That is a great, great pack. To save for last. That, that's pretty good. Okay. Well, are we ready to move on to box number two? I think we can uh, keep the same piles, maybe. Get rid of commons and uncommons. Get rid of comments and uncommons. Okay. He's perfect opening these boxes. Yeah, I was gonna say. Master. You can tell he's open uh, a few. <laughs> what a great art, huh? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Is box number two going to be better than box one? Well, stay tuned to find out. Mm. Another Karth. You got Another Karth and Karth. Another endurance. Greed. Three greeds. I should put that in the full pile. Mm. Late, Late to, to dinner. Di Late to dinner is surprisingly a good card. I mean, pretty decent. You make a food, which is what's important. Yeah. Ooh. Scalding tarn. 
He got there. Upheaval. Upheaval. No, trash store. Another profane tutor. And that's pretty cool art. Don't know what it's for. Another Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats. Well, it seems like a. Uh, Fetches were uh, printed quite a bit in this set, which is not a bad thing. Another gym? I guess the first thing you opened in the last one. I believe it was. That's the car I was talking about. Solitary confinement. Oh, skip your draw step. You have shroud. Not bad. That may be a great card for Kenrith. Could be. Ooh, chainer. Mmm, you get a floor rare. And a Man of War. Get that reordered up there. Alright. At least he figured out what he's doing with his piles. That's true. Hey, it took me a minute, but... It's a Storm, uh, storm Dinosaur. Damn. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 that's it. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Cabal coffers. Not bad. I do need one of those. And then we, you know, get to Summer. So hey, yeah, hey, Summer's not a, bad either. That is a great card. We're going to put that in another pile. I don't want to lose that one. Oh, okay. Man, that was the easiest one to open this far. Another resurgent. Enchantress. That's a cool art. That is a pretty cool art. I thought this set was bigger, but you seem to get a lot of duplicates. I don't know how many cards they ended up printing in it, do you? There are 303. Oh, okay. It's that modular creature. The one man insect? I think so. Void mirror. I believe that's our first one. There's a lot of list cards. Signed. Uh, Rise and Shine. That's what that card's called. I'm pretty sure. Reminds me of uh, Beauty and the Beast with all the animated objects. Search the premises. Riptide Laboratory. That's not terrible, cool. I don't think Riptide's valuable right now because it got reprinted in Gemstar as well. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? And the Wizard's Pet. Ooh. Another mythic. You better not uh, put that in the rare pile, pal. Yeah, that goes in the mythic pile. Are you sure? That's a mythic. Yeah. So, so. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Primeval Bounty, a mythic list card. That's not bad. It's not bad.
Isn't uh, Kozilek on the list? I'm not sure. The only other mythic I know of for sure is Alora, because I pulled one. Pulled one last night. <laughs> Shoo! Now that. That's a pull. That's a pull. That is a great pull. I'm not upset about it. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Just it's also artifact. a great pack. Artifact hit pack. I am not complaining. A bunch oh, of harvest pro full. Progenitus. Hey. And progenitus. Not bad. Well, hey, now I get to look into making my uh, third five color deck. That that is true. You are uh, Mr. Five Color. I am. I think we need to line these mythics back up now. And don't knock over the rares in the process. What, we're about halfway through now? I think so. That seems about right. This was a great box so far. Yeah, even better box now, ain't it? You know, it just keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. We're finding all the treasure today. I wish they'd reprint the planes that has the dog in it from Jumpstart. A glimpse of tomorrow. You like the Doge Land? The Doge Land, yeah, I have one. Another green. Another foil step through. <laughs> hey, you know, we take them. Shards. A little full mountain there. Alright, alright, another one. Underworld cookbook, I would put that to the side. Why is that? Um, there's a lot of as Miranda, whatever the girl is, the one that you can't pronounce, and that mm -hmm. card's in it. It's very good. Jun sacrifice in modern is becoming a thing. Hmm, that'd be interesting. I don't think you've pulled one of her, have you? Mm -mm. I don't believe so. She's pretty cool because you have to discard her, uh, discard a card to uh, cast her. Here's the Simic commander that everybody says isn't good, but it's Simic, so it's going to be good. Yeah, how is Simic not good? Yeah, another soul snare. The squirrels all the squirrels that's a squirrel party oh hey, that's pretty cool that's not bad that's the one you need to put in get wrong that is the one that will go to get wrong don't overlook the the dermal taxi it's the most oh, flavorful one? yeah that's the most flavorful card in the set how many, uh, in your modern L's deck, how many have forest walk off the top of your head, do you know? Ah, uh, unsure. Yeah, but Maya's gonna be a great, great card for, uh, commander at least, with all the forest walk L's. That is true. I don't know... I'm trying to think, I don't know if they, any of them have forest walk. Ooh. And a foil. Ornithopter of Paradise. I actually kind of like this card in the set. I may put this in a separate pile up here as well with those. It wouldn't be bad in the Boros Artifact deck. That is true. Who said Boros doesn't have a mana ramp, right? That's right. Sarah's Emirate. I butchered that one. Yeah. Emissary. Serious emissary. There we go. Another counterspell. That is another counterspell. 
Who runs blue, though? I do. Oh. And a foil rare. We like those. I haven't really paid attention yet, but I haven't seen any curling. It's only hey. been day two. That's signed. Now hopefully it gets better. Yeah, hopefully only curling doesn't happen, but no promises, you know. The Master of Death. Megas of the Bridge. Shim. Dude, another tease. And the tease. No idea what that card is. Me either. What we got? Well, out of time. Another Dreadmall sketch, dude. It's a, it's a sign. Is it? Yeah. What do you think that sign points towards? That you should build a deck around uh, Phantasmal Dreadmall. Dude, if it had the claws, you may run in any number of those. You boy mm. be running 50 of them. Can't target them all, right? Unmarked That's Grave? Right. Unmarked Grave is a good card, and I need it for my Andre deck. Wonder, hey, wonder. The, new, the new art. Unsure about the un upshifted and to rare. As long as Wonder is in your graveyard and you control an island, creatures you control have flying. I run that in Verena. Yeah, I don't know why they upshifted it. Because, um, I mean, it's already pretty stupid cheap, to be honest. It's literally like a dollar card, I think. The only thing I can think of is uh, sealed. Only, only reason I can think of that's a rare. Ooh, another Misty. A Misty Rainforest. What is that, three? I believe so. Almost got a play set. And... Hey. Go them on. Not bad. Do we have any ideas what treasure may be lurking mm -hmm. in these last packs? I can feel a ragavan coming. Have you opened a grief yet? And there's a saga. I don't think I have not. That'd be a pretty good pull. Another diamond line. Lens flare. Well, that may be a sign this was a heavier pack. That's true. Let's see what it may have. Oh, the artifact. The artifact. Oh, an ignoble high art. That's a great pack. Splicer skill. Let's go. Alright. Down to four. Next pack. We have. Hmm. Unsure. I believe that is a worm with a bunch of squirrels fighting it. Hmm. Who do you think is going to take that victory? Oh, the squirrels, definitely. 100%. Definitely. Thought monitor. Mm, it wasn't a great pack. Hey, after the last one. As Stano says, balanced as all things should be. It's true. Another harmonic prodigy. Stormford. All right, two to go. Dinosaur. 
another cookbook. A lot of commons in there. Aaron Mesa. But we did pull an Aaron Mesa. I believe that's our first one. I think so. Mm. And that is a hit right there. Yeah, that's that's a good pull. I'm really looking forward to uh, playing this guy in water. I'm really happy with that one. You just got about three to match it now. The borderless foil. All right, last pack. Come on, baby. Come on, etched foil. Misty Rainforest. Timeless Dragon. Timeless Dragon. And Disciple of the Sun. Yeah. Well, overall, I'd say that uh, was pretty great. Yeah, I think you had two pretty good boxes there. Are you happy with them? Yeah. I mean, you got a couple pro, uh, profane tutors, several fetches, and then that uh, okay. uh, that deck in there. That's that's nice. I believe we got one of each right there. Hey, we take it. And we pulled two scaldings, two misties, two, two marsh. Mars. Mars. Yep. And one verdant and one arid mesa. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. So that's definitely pretty decent. I mean, I wouldn't be upset with it, so... Oh, absolutely not. The the, the time shift to Misty is where it's at. Should we go over the Mythics? Sure. What we got? The Borderless Dacon, a Cauldra, Sarah's Emissary, a Grisk. I believe we ended up pulling actually two of these yep. and two of the artifacts. Uh, the Sword, that's a great hit. That's a, that's a fantastic hit, yeah. Primeval Bounty, Turoch. We did get the Cabal Coffers. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. Two Endurance, Imperial Recruiter. The Squirrel, and then the best card in the set. Chatterfang, you yeah, know, that's a great card. So, overall, it's pretty decent. All right, well, appreciate everybody watching uh, our Hideaway Treasure Hunt. I think we did pretty good on our first episode. Not, not too bad of boxes. I so. Um, appreciate everybody watching. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time.